We pretend that if you sacrifice your family for the ministry, that that's somehow okay. That's just a lie. Nothing could be further from the truth because it depends on God. And sometimes you need to step away so you can see that. I like being able to create my own stuff, uh, make things from scratch. I've played around with film, I've played around with uh, design, all that stuff. And I always did it as part of my youth ministry. It was never something I did full time. God just kind of led me down a path that led me into full time youth ministry. And I loved that and I did that for uh, many years. It was a blast. The church was growing. We were looking for somebody to take over our creative arts department. And so I stepped into that role. So along with the growth came the increase in workload. So I had to learn how to do online services. I produced them and I was teaching myself all these things. Meanwhile, creating all the graphics for all the church ministries, all the stuff going on. Try to get all the assignments done on time for everybody. Trying to keep everybody happy. Trying to keep all those plates spinning. When Dave started working a ton more hours, I, I found that sometimes at home, I felt like I had to walk on eggshells around him. And it was never like that before. And so I could see that he wasn't getting sleep and he wasn't resting well. And so I wanted to do whatever I could to help him with that. I just found myself not being able to keep up. I couldn't find that rest. I went and talked to my doctor and she's like, you're, you're burned out. And she actually recommended I don't even go back to that same role because I just couldn't handle the stress or the workload. Something needed to change. I couldn't keep up with it. I just needed to take a break. I stepped down from my position at the church and I just, I said, just walked away. I wasn't sure I ever wanted to do ministry again. The pastoral thing to do is to, to leave, to go to another church. But I, I had enough foresight to know that this problem would just go with me. I had a really hard time when Dave decided to walk away. Our whole marriage, we had done ministry together and I didn't know what it was gonna look like, but I just kept trusting and praying. God led me to a job as a laborer with a local contractor. It was super healthy for me. The day ended and then there was a cycle. That was great for my mental health. That was great for my my physical health, and God was just healing me. I noticed a, a happier Dave, a Dave that was less stressed. We would have regular date nights. He'd be more active with the kids. Good job. And I'd be home, and I was there for them. And I got my family back, I got my wife back. It was super healthy and super awesome. That lasted about two years. God just started stirring my heart again and said, I'm not done with you in ministry yet. It was like the biggest relief. I was just so excited. I was like, yes, we're going back into ministry. When uh, we first heard about the position for Silver Lake, we had a moment where we looked at each other and we both knew this is where God was calling us. Silver Lake is the camp I grew up going to. Silver Lake is uh, the place where I met Jesus. What does, you know, years of youth ministry and years of creative arts and years of carpentry prepare you to do? It prepares you to be a camp director. Dave needed to be in a position that kind of fed him and gave him life again. And when that was happening, then the whole family was happier. I don't want this camp or my ministry to be something that takes daddy away. I want this to be something that I share with my kids. Having gone through burnout, I need to take those margins for me. I need to watch out for the signs. And so I'm, I'm trying to do that in my own life. I'm trying to take care of myself so that I can be the best leader, best minister I can.